All right, y'all, back over to Speed Shop. We got the left rear done <clears throat> back to three length the other day. Now I'm fixing to start working on this right rear. I'm going to see if I can't get this rear suspension done today. Be one step closer. I don't know when we're going to race it, but if we keep working on it, we might get to race it before long. I think Brad's tried to sell this drifting bike, trike. Hadn't nobody got a hold of it yet, though. All right, y'all, trying to get my mind right to uh, <clears throat> get this thing back together. Got to tear it apart and then put it back together. We'll get it, though. I think this side will go quicker than the other. right here is the brake bracket and it's tapped in the axle housing where when you hit the brakes it don't spin. We had, we had when we first got it, just had one in it. When I mashed the brakes, it spun the, the brake and broke the brake line. We got it. I think we got that issue fixed. <coughs> Alright, I gotta get my get my mind right to how this is gonna go back together. I'll be right. Alright y'all, I'm getting uh oh. Knock the bolt over. <clears throat> I'm getting closer. Closer, closer, closer. I'm go ahead and mount this spring perch springs will go on top of the housing like I said some of this I'm still just guessing a little bit can't remember exactly how it was alright get my tools back rounded up 
Where'd you go? Where'd you go? I know I had a 9 16 socket while ago. Thought it'd be it. Don't you love it when your tools leave? Bad gummit. There it is. Hoping I'm right anyway. We'll know in a little bit. The thing right there is pretty neat. Pops off. You can even work on it now. Side's going a little bit quicker. Got a side to go by, it ain't exactly the same, but I keep my mind right. spacer and bolt, a couple of bolts put right here and then we can put our brake bracket back on and I think we'll be close. About be ready to put the hub back on, get the spring, I gotta put the drive bars on and the pull bar. That jaw just about down to uh, putting the brake caliper bracket on. headed in the right direction. Alright, got my two link bars here hooked up the rear end on both sides and in this class we're going to be running in, we, this is called a pull bar, we have got to put a solid rod in there for a pull bar. This one's got biscuits in it, see the yellow, different colors in it and you can change the, the, the stiffness of it, durometer of it how hard it is and how much traction you get and take traction out and all that but in this class can't have all them adjustment adjustments it's got to be solid so I'm gonna take this one off 
And I gotta find the solid pull bar. There it is. Put it on. Then we're gonna throw some springs on. Alright, y'all, getting closer. Got my drive bars on, my two link bars. Got the solid pull bar on. I'm gonna go around there and show y'all kind of what that thing looks like compared to the other one. The other one's laying right there with all them biscuits on there. Now we just got a solid one on there. We'll find me some springs to set on top here and we'll be getting closer. Alright, there's all the four bar stuff I took off. Got the springs under it. Getting a little bit closer. I think I'm going to move from here and I may put the seat in. See if I can find everything for that. Alright, I'm in the process of Getting my seat back in. I think the one that came out of this car is in the GRT street stock. So I'm going to have to drill some more holes. I was hoping I still had the one on the shelf that came out of it. But I guess I don't. Alright, got the seat mounted. I've been in and out of this thing a hundred times. Making sure I like it. I got her bolted down now. I'm going to crawl in and make sure I don't need to do any final adjustments. Alright, here we are on the inside of the GRT open wheel. It's pretty tight quarters in here, but I believe we got her like we like it. I believe it's going to be good. All we lack is finishing up. Alright, so I decided while I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and pull the motor out because we can't run this motor this is a 604 crate motor and in this class we either gotta be 602 crate motor or the two barrel uh oh about fail two barrel open motor so gotta make my mind up what I'm gonna do on that but I know this one's gotta come out so I'm gonna go ahead and get it out Let's see if we can get this baby out of here without tearing anything up. Easy, baby. All right, I gotta go forward just a little bit, try not to hit this radiator. back here to the farm in Alabama. Gonna run down here to the house and see what Cody's up to. Alright, picked Cody up and brought him. He's on my four, my four wheeler. He's watering the mules and horses and I'm finna go feed the dogs. Let him in the gate here. He's starting to like my four wheeler better than his. That big mud pit four wheeler is a little hard. It's not real hard to drive. The big old tires tear the ground up, so I just let him ride mine around. I think he's about to get tired of his little bitty one. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, y'all. Had a pretty good day today. Got the. Uh, Rear end on the GRT open wheel modified swapped over back over to three link. Got the seat mounted. Got the 604 crate motor out. Got to get us a motor back in. Get, I got to get a bell house and get the transmission in. Uh, and then set it in. Set it to set it up. We put the open motor in it. We'll have to add some lead. I think them cars got to weigh. 2,600 pounds with the open motor and 2,400 with the uh, crate motor. Something like that. I had to read back on the rules on that. But Anyway, I'm about to call it a day. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.